Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have really interesting video. We are going to find out which is the best way to reinforce your soda bottles. So interesting and important stuff. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN. With my link you are going to get huge discount on two year plan and four extra months for completely free. But more about that later. And last week we tried with duct tape and that was pretty good already. But today I have a lot of new ideas how to make this extra strong. And I think we are going to just start testing. And I'm pretty sure that we can beat the duct tape today with some of these. But which one it's going to be? Let's find out. Okay, first one has shitload of chip ties. And I think this is good place to go after the duct tape because duct tape, chip ties, like your basic stuff. And just the bare bottle, if I remember correctly, that was 700 kilos. So I assume that this is going to do much better, but will it beat the duct tape? That's the question. And here we go. Oh, <laughs> what happened? It, it, it started to leak and then it escaped and most of the chip ties are just fine. So um, I'm going to say that the chip ties are strong but they don't like stick to the bottle. So yeah this is, this is starting to look like duct tape is pretty good. Next competitor rubber pants. Okay, rubber pants, and I think these are a bit sticky like the tape. So these are not going to escape and they have good grip on the bottle. But are they too like flexible or will the pressure increase a lot before they flex? Let's see. Looking good. Oh, oh, it might suck. Yeah, I think the bottle like gave out from between the rubber bands and it, it, it started to look really scary. I thought it's going to bounce like a Super Bowl or something and out of the window, but it gave up before that, but pretty good effort. I was too scared to look up the uh, force meter, but I think it wasn't super much. Okay, the video isn't going very well so far. We haven't been able to uh, make bottles very strong, but maybe with string. And I tried to apply this with lathe, but uh, that started to feel like really bad I really, really fast, so I just hand wrapped it around. But there is a quite a lot of it still. I think we learned something. The, the caps, they fail, but they don't fail completely. So we have to just go fast and we are going to find out what's the actual limit of the material. And here we already beat the duct tape. So here we go. Okay, and then fishing line. And I have mixed feelings about this. It's really strong and there is a lot of it. But it's really, really slippery. It was totally pain in the ass to attach with the lathe there. But I was able to do that relatively safely. But uh, don't try it at home still. Probably not good idea. And I'm going to go fast. So if the cap starts to leak or something minor happens, 
we are not going to let that bother us too much. Yeah, full speed. Okay, that wasn't probably very strong. Yeah, the uh, fishing line is so slippery that there was a lot of like uh, unprotected bottle visible and it's always like important to cover the whole thing. It doesn't help if you have only the tip, tip covered. So we failed on that here. <laughs> okay, and then we are moving to steel reinforced soda bottles. Yeah, that's a thing now. But before that, more about today's sponsor, NordVPN. And it happens to be Cyber Security Month, so it's a great time to talk about benefits of using VPN. There is a lot of information about different cybersecurity risks and how to deal with them on NordVPN's blog. Uh, for example, one cybersecurity risk is man on the middle attack, where somebody uh, pretends to be the public VLAN, for example an airport or cafeteria, and after that he has access all of your data that goes through the uh, network. And to prevent that, you have to always be sure that your browser uses secure connection, or to be completely sure, you can just use NordVPN that encrypts all of your data and makes it completely useless for man on the middle. And with NordVPN, you can also reach geoblocked content, which is my favorite use case, because here in Finland, we don't usually have all the nice things that you have in the States. But with NordVPN, I can fool the websites to think that I am in the United States. So go to nordvpn.com slash hydraulicpress. There is a link to that in description. And you are going to get huge discount from two year plan. And only with that link, four months for completely free. And there is also 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like the product for some reason, you are going to get your money back. And now back to crushing. And again, I think speed is our friend. If, if, if we can get the like pressure start going on there, I think this is going to be extra strong. Yeah. Yeah, now it's... Okay, maybe not. Yeah. It made it worse. Yeah. Doesn't look good. Yeah, but... Let's go, we have the second one also. And with this, the uh, steel bands are tighter there, so they don't move so much. Okay, here we go. Yeah, now it's... Oh. I think that the steel things that we used, they are too rigid. The bottle doesn't like uh, stretch at all. And that makes it somehow weaker. With the duct tape, it, the bottle is allowed to do its own thing. And the tape just gives the support that the bottle needs. But with the steel ones, the bottle is forced to stay on its original shape. And that's not good. So, as a last crush, we are going to apply a metric shit ton of duct tape to one bottle. That's the strongest one. I, I feel it. Okay, I think we have enough tape. And I had to uh, change bigger tools so that like tool just doesn't go inside of the tape pile. Yeah, I think this is going to be the strongest one today. And I am going to go fast as always. I'm not sure on which point it started to leak, but we were able to destroy all of the tape. Uh, I think you can see it on the slow motion replay where it leaked 
And I'm not sure, did the extra amount of the tape even help today here? Uh, at the end there was a lot of force because we were just crushing like pile of tape. But uh, hopefully the bottle was also a bit stronger than on the last week's video. Yeah, and if you have ideas of other things that are too weak on their own and need some extra support, <laughs> please let me know and I'm going, to, I'm going to test out which is the best way to make them stronger. Yeah, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.